John Wayne Gacy seemed to be a normal guy, with a good head for business. He was very active in his community and charitable. He loved kids. He would dress up as Pogo the Clown and visit sick children in hospitals. He would throw large parties for the kids in his neighborhood. And, in 1980, Gacy was convicted for the murders of 33 young men. That's when he was nicknamed the Killer Clown. Those that don't know, John Wayne Gacy was the inspiration for Stephen King's It. But the story of his bizarre life and heinous crimes are responsible for giving people nightmares way before then. But what most don't know is his real life story didn't end with his death. At his trial, Gacy tried to plea innocent, claiming he was diagnosed as schizophrenic by a few psychologists. The jury wasn't having it, and he was soon found guilty. It would be 14 years before Gacy would be executed by lethal injection. In the years Gacy was awaiting his execution, he began oil painting. He painted himself as Pogo, the Seven Dwarfs, portraits of Hitler, Elvis, and others. The paintings were said to convey a disturbed mind. Many people reported having feelings of anxiety while looking at them. After his execution, 25 of his paintings were burned in a bonfire. 300 people some being the families of Gacy's victims, watched the paintings burn. But there were still more paintings. Even with Gacy's horrific background, his paintings are surprisingly popular. One painting titled, Poco the Clown, is said to hold the evil energy from the killer clown. In 2001, Nikki Stone bought the painting for $3,000. Not long after buying the painting, his dog died suddenly, and his mother was diagnosed with cancer. Worried the painting's negative aura may have something to do with the horrible events, Nikki brought the painting to a friend's house. His friend's close neighbor was killed in a car accident soon after. Another friend said they would take the painting. He ended up attempting to end his life. Nikki, convinced the painting was causing the trouble, decided to sell it. Eventually, actor Johnny Depp came into possession of the painting. He became so disturbed by looking at the painting that he developed a fear of clowns before getting rid of it. The painting was then sold several times more and was last sold in 2017. So, what do you guys think? Is the painting really cursed? Or did these people just get themselves all psyched up for no reason? 
Let me know what you think in the comments. And let me know if you have any personal haunted or cursed object stories. So, I was gonna buy a few balloons, blow them up into stupid shapes, and make fun of them with you all. But, I couldn't afford them. Aw, oh, don't feel bad, guys. It's cause... INFLATION! 